Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 23 of our Liverpool rebuild. Uh, looking back via the last episode, um, it, it's been okay. Um, you know, lots of wins there. Um, we are through to the Carabao Cup final where we'll be playing Brighton. Some good results there in the league. We do just have that. That one loss there to Chelsea, which has really evened it back up, to be honest, and probably brought City and Chelsea back in. Now, we do have some favourable fixtures coming up, in all fairness. You know, when you look at the league, we've got Palace away, Brentford away, Burnley at home, Wolves at home, Fulham away. And that is basically over the next six weeks in amongst plenty of cup competitions. So... There, there is a chance, um, you know, if any of those lot can uh, basically um, play up against stronger opposition, then there is a chance to extend that lead. We have finally hit the bread on our money. Jude Bellingham is player of the month. As Harvey Elliott and Antonio Silva come second and third. That is good. Based upon the transfer window. Premier League always wins. So this is the guy that we have just brought in. Nika Ilyev. So he can play in three of the top four positions. Um, he is actually due to come in for £6 million. Um, I think it's quite a good deal that we got with him. So, you know, his contract is ending anyway. So we brought him in. He's a good player. Um, not so sure exactly how much game time he's going to get this time. So we've also got Thiago Jalo who's going to come in. Now, he is going to be a complete backup Um because we have had some problems in at left back and centre half at times. The longer the season goes on, the more options I want in available to me. That that is exactly right. Um, so we've got Jalo in. Um, he is not going to be anything particularly spectacular for us. It's just a case of if we need him. Uh, he has signed a four-year contract, so he basically could end up robbing a living, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm under no uh, no pretenses that he's probably not good enough, but he's there for a reason. So we've got Palace away from home. Not the easiest of games. Shirtle up, ready for more first-team football. It's very, very hard to give everyone first-team football. City are away at Brighton. So I definitely need Brighton to help me out here. So, uh, Bellingham needs a rest. So we'll put Rice there, and we will bring in Fabinho there. Van Dijk. We'll put in Kudos on the right. I think that's probably about how I'm going to line up here. Thiago and Van Dyke may tire quickly. Right, really, really big game to start off the episode. And Palace looked dangerous early. As a matter of fact, they have most definitely had more of the ball. And that concerns me at times, to be honest. 
every episode just gone by as well that the gap has been going slowly 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 city are one nil ahead as well which means that we really need to uh oh ask and you shall receive good pressing from lewis diaz he's non-stop he's earned that that's a really good finish as well great pressing from lewis diaz really good finish as well um yeah it's, it's more of a case of we've just got to try and just keep finding these victories um this this is a really really tough game we've got two tough away games to start off in, in the league then i believe the fixtures will slowly ease off for us a little bit which will be quite nice so we've just got to keep our foot on the pedal we've just got to keep the games going keep keep winning and hopefully do enough to see us to get up to to, to go to back-to-back -to -back titles it's diaz of a second alexander arnold into fabinho that ball over the top and volleyed home from Diaz to make it 2-0 to Liverpool. Okay, I will make three changes early doors. Get Thiago off. Jordan Henderson can come in now. I'm going to replace Nunez with Harvey Elliott when I can find him. Come on, please work. Oh, I went too far. Oh, I, I'm, it's a nightmare, these, uh, these controls. <laughs> Some days I do think about going back to, um, like the mouse on here, the mouse sort of like this, but I, I, I don't know. Certainly something you do need to keep an eye on with this, it, it is hard work. Oh, really, it's just two stars as a winger. So what are you best at? What is your best role? Inside forward for me. An attack. Okay. I expect Van Dyke will want to come off very, very soon. Have a quick look on City, they're 2-0 up as well. Yeah, Van Dijk with Canate, completely fine. We will have another sub at some point or the other. And any one of them lot could come off at a sort of like down to, so it'll be Bryce Elliott. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem. Just got to focus. Go back to balanced. And that will see it out, and that will be a victory for the pole. Three points. Really good result. Pleasing result there. It's, um, it's certainly uh, looking good for us. We've got the points on the board. We've just got to hope that games in hands are uh, are lost. As such by the other guys so we've got Leicester at home in the FA Cup Elliot is close to release the core clause which is fine City are really uh, really pushing on with 10 games unbeaten so this this could be helpful for me Mohamed Salah has reluctantly announced his retirement. Was this the final of the African Cup of Nations? It was. 
to Salah come joint or second, and Kudos is there as well. Who is this Mohamed Bayo? He's actually got some really, really good stats. In the French League, he can't do it there, but he can do it internationally. So Salah has retired from international football. And he's won the African Cup of Nations to go along with it. And now, we've hit the 6th of February, we have all of our players back. Which is fantastic. So, I might have to go back over the squad and have a little look to see what we can change. Jamie Vardy has announced he is going to retire. Tellez Magno with a goal there. Fafana sees red. Robertson for team of the week. Kudos should be dropped for Ghana with the amount of goals that he scores for Ghana and you think he should be dropped. You lot are mental. Harvey Elliott's poor run of form. Is he actually an English international? No, he's not. Does make you wonder at times about the things that they say on this game. Training has been excellent. It is. I'm not going to see you on the pitch. So here we go as a start. Third lap's going to come in for Diaz. Sell up full five stars and fit as well. We love to see that. Van Dyke is going to have a rest. We'll give Zabani a game. I'm also going to rest Bellingham. I will keep this free in here. Now it's just about getting the bench correct because obviously it's been a little while since I've had a full squad and now I have one. So we definitely want Henderson, Simakas, Bellingham and Van Dijk and Elliot on the bench. So Conarte can come out. I've got a lot of people here as well that I can bring back in. Victor Roque, it's been, we have not had an out, proper out and out striker to go on the bench for a while. But who else do you take out of here? I'll take out Ramsey just because I know Fabinho can fill in at the back. I'll put in Tellers Magno. The rest have got work to do. And that does even include um, Mohamed Kudos, who can do it for country, but not for club right now. Zabani starting. What? Yep. You see, I saw it right here. Sometimes you have to play the game. You have to rotate. And really, you have to think about the league more than the cup competitions. I, 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 I want to win everything. I want to get in every final. I want to get as much silverware as possible. But at the same time, the bigger picture is the league title. That's where the money's at. Alexander Arnold has scored. Oh, Salah's offside. Shirdlup has suffered a bruised shin. Play on till at least half time. Debrevka has gone to Leicester in goal. I didn't see that beforehand. And their best player, as far as I'm aware, is already off a pitch injured. So it's mainly all us possession wise and, and shots wise. We've only hit one on target, but 
the one thing I don't want from this is I don't want to draw. Nunez is offside. Wow. That poor man has, I mean, uh, something I've learned is either Nunez needs to learn the offside rule or he just needs to get a bit lucky because it's just happening so often. Negative reaction from Robertson. I ain't going to lie, I do not care. This will be the type of game that we will lose. All this play. Can we finally get the breakthrough? We are going to make a change. Darwin has been diabolical. Get off the pitch. Victor Roque, complacent. Okay, Tellez Magno can go up top. But also, Luis Diaz is going to come on for third lap. Um, and we're going to leave it at that for the time being. And I'm going to try and fire these boys up. I am looking for a lot more from this lot. So, what is going on? Three disallowed goals. And there you go. That's exactly what... That, that is football manager to a T. It's a great ball from Jones. And a really good finish from Vardy. But football manager to a T is what? Their second chance of, of the game. And they have scored. And we have had three disallowed goals. This is the type of thing where... I could get into trouble if I'm asked some questions. I need to make some changes. And I need to try and go and win the game. So, Victor Roque is going to come on for Fabinho. I'm going to try something here. I'm not sure whether this is going to work or not. Magno. See, am I going to be able to ever... Right, okay, I'm going to try saying it on the formation. Uh, Victor Roque, let me change you with Thiago if it will let me. And it won't. Shock horror. Why did it do that? Honestly, it makes no sense. Please just let me, right, can I move? No. Oh, it might do now. Wow, it actually has done it for me. Uh, okay. Advance forward. Victor Roque also as an advance forward. Diaz as an inside forward. Why would you do that to me? On attack. And Salah. We'll go inverted wing up. Love to see that he's on five stars. We've got to go for it. We've got no, no choice, to be honest. We've got to try and take this on and, and try and get this victory because... Uh, it's a joke, to be completely honest. I'm going to fire him up. We're on very attacking. It's all we can do. But it would not surprise me if we lost this. Just having all them goals disallowed. And them having three shots so far. And can you believe it? I've got a corner. It's going to be an early exit out of the FA Cup for Liverpool. <laughs> and another goal has been disallowed in this time for Leicester. Okay. Wow, we. That is unbelievable. I don't even know where to start. Diaz is out four to six days. Jones gets one over on Liverpool. 
how disappointed am I? Yeah, let's let's just leave the conversation at that. Bored, I'm not going to be happy with that. Speaking of which, Club Vision challenge for the FA Cup failed. Yeah. Shocking. What was that last set? A new attendance low. Well, both against Leicester, they obviously don't find Leicester very, uh, very attacking. So we we've got work to do here in the league. Going out the FA Cup could be a blessing, but no, I'm not very happy with it. One man I really didn't want to get injured. He's now injured. He might be back for then. 100 games in management. Brentford away. This is City versus Chelsea. So, in a realistic world, a draw or Chelsea to win that place. A draw would probably be the best, uh, best, uh, best uh, option that I can take there. So, we have already got... We'll bring in Kudos on the bench. I'm actually going to put in Konate. Zabani, I actually do need to put in right so Fabinho has not really set the world on fire for me here Declan Rice will go back there and Bellingham can go in here should Luck will keep his place Nunez can start up top we'll give Simakas again at left back, oh, did you see that right? Yeah, Robertson's going up, which is really, really good. So I definitely need Magno, Diaz, Kudos, Victor Roque can make way. I need to put the Zabani on the bench. So I have a centre half option now. Really, really big game this. I say that probably every time there's a game. But uh, this is a big game because uh, we definitely need a win here. And Schlödel up has scored. Well kept in there. Nunez. Crosses and a nice simple tap in the third lap at the back post. It puts us 1-0 up after 32 seconds. Fantastic start. Just in David, David Zappa Costa is at Brentford. I'll praise the boys for their start. And it's another one for Liverpool. Thiago's ball, long over for Nunez. Holds it back. So that I'll keep a dive before he even shot. 2 0 to Liverpool. We can have a cheeky look and keep an eye on that, that other game. City 2 0 up. Salah has gone and got another one. Good play from Schurdl up. Oh, it's taken a couple of deflections, but Salah is there to knock it in. But the back post it makes it 3-0 to Liverpool. 
comfortable so far in a game that I thought it could have been quite difficult. And Liverpool make it for Bellingham to Alexander Arnold, who's dinked ball through to Diaz. He stayed on side and he managed to put it home. And we're going to have demand more from the boys. It's five. Oh, it's poor Conate has got one. Five nil at half time. A really, really good half. He said at the bottom that we've simply been brilliant. And to be honest, I can't disagree. So it will be time to rest some players here. I will leave Salah on just because they're on the hat tricks, otherwise they end up moaning and bitching about it. So I will make some changes off and around that. Who looks tired? Salah actually looks really tired, so So Nunez can come out for Kudos. We will put Luis Diaz on the left. We will take Rice off for Henderson. We will leave that for the time being, as I believe like Salah's going to have to make way and possibly someone like Alexander-Arnold. It's disallowed goal, and rightfully so, it's disallowed goal. Yeah, make that sub. Well, I'm sure why a player on a hat trick has been withdrawn because he's knackered. That's why he's absolutely knackered. There you go, the two players I knew would end up wanting to come off have come off. Which is no problem by me. Still no goal for Kudos. Please with that. I hadn't checked on the City game. Obviously they were 2 nil up. City end up winning 4-1. The gap is getting big between 2nd and 3rd now as well. Could it be another two horse race? Harland or another hat trick? It's got me on my timeline for some reason. I wonder why. Anything I should be looking at? Ah, it's got me in the century of matches. Fair play. Going to take me through a few things now. <laughs> Elliot get 500k. Nunez two assists and a goal. Fulham smack Tottenham. So whilst we are here, I'm not sure how to, what the best way to do to get to this is. I don't think there's an easy way to do it. There it is, there we go. So if we look at this, the overview, stages is the best way. So as of right now, as you can see, we have a six point lead over City who have two games in hand on us. They are seven points ahead of Chelsea who have a game in hand on them. Arsenal a little bit further down, obviously. Um, Wolves, Newcastle and Tottenham are in the European places. Down at the bottom end of the table is Watford, Burnley and Bournemouth. So Norwich are the best team of the lot that are coming up. 
when it comes to the player stats, if you'll stop, Haaland, 26 goals in the league. He is 11 clear of Salah and Nunez. Um, and even Diaz is down at the bottom now with 13. Uh, when it comes to the assist, Alexander-Arnold, Rafa and Vitinha lead their man of the match. is Haaland by a long way. Uh, average rating is also Haaland by a long way. Um, so it kind of feels as though Haaland are most definitely keeping City alive in this title race. Um, but to be honest, um, some of my players there, 43 goals between my front three. It's brilliant. I really do need to stop the scouting. I will uh, do that probably in between episodes. So Van Dijk is officially out for the first leg. Following speculation over his future. Positive result. We've got a good chance with confidence. Okay, I didn't know Conate wasn't overly particularly happy. And that's some good news. He's passed a fitness test. So I will start him. I'm just going to put in him in Zabani in. Although Zabani will then be swapped out for Van Dyke. Um, Conate is there on standby. We will start Luis Diaz on the left. And we will also start Andrew Robertson. So from my perspective, everyone looks pretty fit. Van Dyke is obviously injured. Um... Can I have more substitutes? I can. Uh, that will probably be Andre Santos. Who comes in now. That's my team ready to go. Let's go and let's get it. So this is the furthest that I have come in the Champions League. Julian Alvarez playing for Inter Milan. Sue check as well. Just looking down the list of subs. Oxley Chamberlain, obviously I sold him. So this is uh, as far as we have got. They are playing a very, very interesting sort of like a 5 3 2 defensive sort of formation. That um, would be an interesting game. And no mugs are into Milan. No mugs. I fully expect um, us to probably get through this, and then it's uh, going to be a bit of luck to see where we go from there. But obviously, Champions League, when you, when you get to the knockout stages, there isn't really an easy game. It's uh, It's all a case of just taking your chances when they come. So it's quite an even game. They're just edging us on possession. We, we, I say we have more more shots, but it, it, it's actually really, really even. We're way at the San Siro, so uh, even if we can get a draw here, uh, Nunes has just put us one ahead, which is great to see. Diaz into Darwin, goes far post, puts it away. We are one to the good so far. Good play from Luis Diaz. Sutek tries to break away. I've seen him run before. So we are ahead. We are pleased. We will continue that on. Let's keep it going. It's 2-0 to Liverpool. Antonio Silva to Alexander-Arnold. Ball out wide to Salah. Puts it back. It's Nunez again. It's 2-0 to Liverpool. Two vital away goals. And Nunez has got himself a hat-trick. Treat yourself, son. Rice, long ball over the top. Well taken by Darwin. Rounds the keeper. Taps it home. Skriniar is having a nightmare against Nunez. 
and this means I can make some substitutions. Get some players off that are going to need it. Thiago, Salah and Alexander-Arnold. I'm afraid I'm going to withdraw. Fabinho in at fullback. I'm going to give Android Santos a game in there. And Salah can come out for Teles Magno. We'll demand more from the boys. I mean, we can't expect too much more. We are freeing it up. Well, I've demanded more and the boys have given me more. Rice into Nunez, Teles Magno. Oh, that's a really good finish. Darwin gets the assist as well. And Latoro Martinez has got one back. It's actually an excellent goal. Oh, excellent build up. How did Jekko not want to hit that for himself? Okay, so Nunez is going to make way. Please, if you're ever going to score a goal now, let it be now, Kudos. Let it be now. Luis Diaz will come off for and let's level up. And we will try and fire them up. 4-1. It's a really good result. Um, I'm under no percentage. It's not over yet, but... Still picking up yellow cards. If this finishes 4-1, I will be ecstatic with that victory. Excellent result. Really, really good. It's not over yet, of course, but it obviously puts us in a very, very good position. Other results. Bayern, Barcelona, Ajax, Napoli get victories while there was four, three draws. Celtic, Milan, Madrid, City, Sporting and PSG. Um, it's only looking like us and Napoli that look clear. So we are very, very happy with that result there. Delighted, yeah, to our Darwin, yeah. There's been times I've been a little bit unsure about him. I even had to ponder when Bayern come looking for him, but he is my main man. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. I've got other players that can sort of play in there. So we should win this at a canter. Victor Roque is out for a day. A lot of these players are unsure of Jurgen Klopp and his praise at the moment, aren't they? So City are away at West Ham. That's not going to be an easy game. Chelsea at home to Arsenal. Kudos is going to start up top. Third up. We'll play in now. Rice, we will give a break. And Fabinho can come in. And I think that is how we're going to start. I'm actually going to put in Conate for Silva. Give Silva a break as well. Let's go give it hell. Ayazo Perez is uh, now at Burnley, Dan Burn, Tiva Liveramento. They brought quite well, Burnley. If Burnley go down, I will be trying to pounce on Liveramento. And if I do that, obviously that can probably mean that Calvin Ramsey can leave the club, although I wouldn't really want to lose him, he's been quite good. So, Burnley have had the better opportunities in their opening 10 minutes. Bellingham has scored and put us one ahead. Oh, it's taken a massive deflection. <laughs> but you take them however you can, and that will do us. 
All I want from this game is I want a kudos goal. If there is a penalty, kudos is taking it. <laughs> um, we need to get him back in form because he, he started the season phenomenally. Um, and he is really backed off now. So hopefully we can try and get him back into a little bit of form. It'll be very, very handy. I need a little bit more from them. Or as Mr. Shane O'Keefe will say, a bit of Demi Moore. Thiago has gone into the book. We lead 1 0 at half time. We are pleased, but we need a bit more. Kudos has not been good. Salah has taken a knock. Yeah, we'll put on Harvey Elliott. That's a fine swap there for me. Could have been Salah's Magno, but um, we'll make that change. I'm not going to go check the other games out. It's mainly City, who I think are playing later, that I'm more interested about. Let's make some changes. Kudos, again, not very good. We'll put on Magno up top. We will completely rest uh, Nunez if we can. Van Dijk is knackered. He will be replaced by Antonio Silva. And we shall put on... Simakas for Robertson and it does leave us one more sub if needed need to fire them up I'd like to see a little bit more from these to be honest <coughs> always not a not a fan of it just being one nil It is mainly all of us, but Trent for Henderson, okay. No problem. And Schlödl up has scored a penalty for us. Didn't even get the opportunity to pick my penalty taker, and neither do I care. He has scored. It puts us 2-0 ahead. That's all we needed. We just needed a nice, easy win, and we got it. More than happy with the result. Plays with the boys. Good result. Other results are as follows. Chelsea beat Arsenal. And have a look down the bottom there. Manchester City lose 3-0 to West Ham. West Ham have spoiled a lot of parties. Um, they're the team that have given me real trouble this season you know they, they took four points from me so that is really really key for us um, it's pretty massive to be honest Salah is out for 12 days Kudos is looking at a pay increase he needs to really be paying that off to be honest because he's not been good at all we will look at our finances um, it's not what I wanted to do I wanted to go to a recruitment so I need to definitely put that and do an adjustment on my budget. Something like that, I think. Yeah, that is absolutely fine. Alexander Arnold has picked up an automatic two match ban for 10 yellow cards. Unfortunately, that does put him, Salah, out of the Carabao Cup final, which is next. He might pass a fitness test, but is it really worth it? I don't know. See, Brighton are going with this ridiculous defensive formation. Couldn't think of anything worse, if I was honest.
so City will actually catch. Okay, look here. XGN Ward. He's good, this Makoko. Shirtle up is there as well. I always find that quite interesting to have a look at. Scouts are back out in force. Chelsea have a game in hand against Tottenham here. And they win. So it is tightened up between second and third now. Manchester United are well clear of the bottom half now, but their fought for Europe is not going to be an easy one. Just intrigued about Rashford. 26 years old. It's got a big contract though. Kelleher is injured, but he'll be okay to go on the bench. Just seen that salary that could be back. There you go, on a month, um, we have just lost £20 million now. Quite the loss. Um, always a way going into the red. Obviously, the Premier League has so much money. Okay, so. Got to go in with confidence. Got to go in with confidence. Shirtle up is named February Young Player of the Month. Wrong button hit there. And he's dedicated it to me. What a player, what a man. Uh, manager of the month for me there. Um, that even does include a loss against Chelsea there. So we're okay with that. David Griffiths is more than happy with that. Newcastle won this last time. So we reckon that Watford was a stronger victory than what it was against uh, Manchester United in the semi-finals. So Salah might have to... Mm, tough one here. Ah, FA Cup games are going on. Okay. So Salah is really not looking too good, to be honest. I think we will stick him on the bench. Kudos has gone down to two and a half stars. Really not very good, to be honest. Nunez can start in now. We will give Luis Diaz a start. Declan will also most definitely come in. Van Dijk is suspended for the final. Antonio Silva comes in now, as does Zabani on the bench. That is how we're going to go. Salah will only be used if necessary. Um, a bit disappointed, obviously, to have lost. Uh, let me just check something out there. No, that's fine. Uh, obviously, very disappointing to have lost Virgil for the final, but. What can you do about it? So it's a chance to um, go for our third trophy. Uh, they've not really got a great deal of change at the club there. Obama Yang's on the bench. Although probably not too much to worry about as such. So we try and go for this. Try and get another trophy in the cabinet. Cup final success has not been great for me at the moment so far. We've played one and lost one. Uh, unless you count Community Shields, which I wouldn't really. In that case, I have won two Community Shields. But it's more a case of that, that, that game is practically given to us. Just by uh, based upon the last season's performances, one of their fallbacks has been booked already, which is handy. One of their better players, Solly March, has uh, has been booked. Uh, has been injured. Sorry. 
Okay, so this is a relatively tight final. They're keeping the ball, but we're having a lot of the chances. And can you believe it? <laughs> oh, Ryan Fredericks. Uh, uh, oh, it's really poor defending for my lot. You can't let a ball go in like that. We are 1-0 down. Are we going to be the bottlers in finals? We're going to find out. And this is obviously not key because obviously this is making me want to possibly put Salah on. Is nothing going to happen in this half or what? Bellingham has now been sent off. <sighs> My goodness, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go for it. What a nightmare! What a nightmare! I'd rather lose six nil now because we've got to go for it. We can't not. Yeah, we'll make the change. Just fine. Well, it's looking like a second cup final defeat. Wembley has really not been our place, unfortunately. Genuinely can't believe we're about to lose this game. Wow. Can you believe it? The frustration is real. All I can say is I am very, very glad that I am not particularly rated as a manager based upon the Carabao Cup, but... Whew. That's no good. Angry is right. Bellingham is going to be suspended. I hope that's more for Carabao than it will be uh, for the league. Really a bad result. So we're out of both domestic cup competitions now. It is just the league and it is also the Champions League. So the in that fashion does hurt a lot. The ban will go for all English domestic competitions. So that's not what we wanted. I'm going to appeal it. And to be honest, um, I'm fully aware that that could even turn into a free game ban um, if it was a bad tackle. So we might see that it's gonna it's gonna literally carry on a little bit more, which is a shame. Yes, we've we'll definitely slammed the team. <sighs> Such a disappointing way to finish there. Why did that put me there? Carry on, please. So walls walls are not gonna be. Mugs by any stretch of the imagination in the next game. No real, real star players there. They've got Leon Bailey though, by the look of things. Scout to back out again. Oscar Gluck. I am um, now that he's hit an A and he would be an excellent signing. We are now going to make that offer because 
I know he's 3.2 million. That was 2.5, but that's fine. We will we will make the offer. Um. I think he's going to be really, really good. That also could spell the end for um, a couple of players, to be honest as well. He's worth 18 million. He's one player I will be looking at next uh, next season. But you can't go wrong with putting an, an offer for a player. So Salo is still out for a day. They've uphilled the one max ban. Okay, that's that is a start. So Glock, he really wants uh, some big money by the look of things. He wants a decent contract here as well. He will just be a squad player. 125k per week. Whew. We'll give you 110. We can remove that straight away. No, we'll, we'll give you 120. That's a, that's a lot in that respect for money. I know a little bit about him. He, he's a good player. See, here's Tino Leveramento. Transfer value is 77 million. He's been brought by Burnley and they brought him quite cheaply. He has a 38.5 million pound relegation release clause. I could be looking at that. What I need to be doing is I need to be looking at players that I want to be getting out very, very soon. So that is um, something I'll be looking to do over the next couple of episodes. Um, probably going to be more like uh, end of the season. Schlegel up is out injured. We will get ourselves over to the Wolves game where we are now. So a work permit for Glock has been submitted and there we go exactly what I thought it would be oh the ban will apply for Carabao Cup matches only okay that's fine so that is going to conclude today's episode um, a bit of a funny one to be honest uh, you look at the results, you know, we've played six matches there. We've had three wins in the Premier Division, which I fully expected without conceding a goal. Uh, Champions League, we have destroyed Inter. And then we've lost in the FA Cup fourth round to Leicester and lost in the Carabao Cup final to Brighton. Funny times. Um, just seem to be good at getting two finals, but not finishing the job, obviously. Uh, League-wise, we have a game. We've played a game more than City and Chelsea, but we do hold a nine and ten point lead respectively. So, looking really good in the league. Ten games to go. So, hopefully, we can finish off that job. Um, so that will do for today. Um, please give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bells on for those notifications if you want to know when the videos go live. We will see you in the next one. Take care.